um, it's a bright day for once in London. But um, yeah, we'll continue the segment and uh, we've got a couple of bits of news. Is it breaking news? It's not breaking news. It's just news that's um, featured um, on some different platforms and social medias over the last uh, four to five days. So it's not breaking news as such. But um, it's something I'm sure that um, you, you have some interest because it is to do with um, some Arsenal players. Right, so the first bit of news is... Um, oops, spare me a second, please. What have I done here? I've done something wrong here. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, here we go. Is um so last week I, I mentioned one player who um actually two players who's retired and apparently there's, there's another player. And Marion Shamak actually uh, announced last week that he's hanging up his boots. And um, again, I'm going to read this verbatim and then maybe we can get into the chat if any of you who are actually interested. I see this one person's come online. Uh, good afternoon, whoever you are. And this news comes out from uh, Belen um, Sport. And it says, former Moroccan um, international Moran Shamak has confirmed his retirement from the age of 35 after not playing for more than two years. <coughs> two and a half years out of action. The former Arsenal West Ham Crystal Palace Cardiff Bordeaux striker has been without a club since 2006 when he last played for Cardiff. Um, his last uh, league match was against Brighton in the goalless draw in um, the, champ the English Championship on the 3rd of December of the same year. So he actually says, um, today I can say that I really retired from football. Shamak told um, being um, sport. I didn't know he was born in France. I thought, yeah, he was um, born in Morocco. But it says, that, um, born in France, Shamak spent eight years with Bordeaux, scoring 56 goals in 230 league appearances. And won the league, the league One and two French League Cups. Then he moved to Arsenal in 2010, um, where he actually uh, appeared, made 40 league appearances in three seasons, netting only, well, I don't say only, but eight goals. Um, then Shamak went on to play for West Ham, Crystal Palace and Cardiff City. At international level, um, Shamak represented France as under 19 before switching allegiance to Morocco in 2003. Um, I, I, I feel a hint of sadness because he had such a you know, good um, strike rate, you know, a record there. Um, I think was his previous club um, Crystal Palace before he came to um, Arsenal? I'm just kind of a little bit confused, but it's just like when he came to play for Arsenal, I just so wanted him to do so well for Arsenal, and it just, things just didn't turn out for him, did he? And um, in the end, it just says that Shamak helped Morocco finish as runners up in the 2004 um, African Cup of Nations. And um, yeah, there was, you know, in my, my thumbnail, I, I do say unfulfilled. Can he say literally that his career has been unfulfilled? I mean, again, I so wanted Shamak, Marion Shamak, to do so well at Arsenal, but just so much as he tried, it just, just didn't work out for him there. And, um, yeah, sad. It's sad. In my, my personal point of view, it's kind of a sad end. And then in other news, in other news, again, it's not breaking news, about David Seaman. Yes, David Big Hands Seaman. And um, again, this is not breaking news. This news is that actually broke uh, last week, the best part of five, six, just short of a week ago, where he was on Talk Sports. Yes, yes, the man himself. And he actually, you know, admitted to being hurt because, um, as with some other um, iconic and um, really good players who played at for Arsenal, especially in that era under um, Arsene Wenger, the Indivincibles um, season. And um, he didn't get asked to come back to do any kind of coaching work. Although he does say he did a little bit of coaching. So let me read the story first and we'll get into um, it in greater detail. So it says, Arsenal legend David Seaman has admitted to feeling hurt at not getting the chance to work for the club after his playing career. Seaman enjoyed a glittering career with the Gunners, of course, including three, uh, three title, league titles, four FA Cups, over 13 years playing for Arsenal. And um, it says that he did a little bit of coaching after he stopped playing in 2004. However, he never got the call. He never got the call from Arsenal. 
to take up any major coaching roles there. He did say he doesn't want, he didn't want to do at that time any full time work. But you know, it's good to give something back, something back to the club that you know you love so much and you played you know the majority of your your career with. And he also actually mentioned some other players here. He says that um, Seaman also claimed that other Arsenal legends, including Mr. Arsenal himself, Tony Adams, Martin Keogh and So Campbell were, were hoping to give back to Arsenal, but they never got approached. I mean, why would you not want a player of um, David Seaman's stature, you know, to play, not to come back and, and do some coaching? Why would you not want someone like that to come back and do some coaching there? It's just kind of beggar's belief. And then he said, I just wanted to give back. You know, it was it was it was really strange. And I know for a fact that old players like Tony Adams, Martin Keogh, they, they never um got a phone call. Never. However, how I'm just giving them some some No, the quality of the video is okay. Sorry about that. Um he does say that now Arsenal have approached him, rather belatedly. So he says, um, but things appear to have changed now. And Seaman did go on to say how he has uh, he was approached by Arsenal recently to talk to the club, the club's goalkeeping coach. He had to be fair to Arsenal now. I have been asked to go on and have a look at uh, chat to the goalie coach uh, about uh, what it means to be an Arsenal goalkeeper, and it's really, really um, happy to be asked. About. So. He'll see what the future holds for him, but um, yeah, it's just just you know it leaves a little bit you know um slightly taste in the mouth because you think about Thierry Henry. I mean, he did did some coaching with the under 19s <coughs> and the under 21s, I think at Arsenal. So Campbell, nothing. Um, Patrick Vieira, as far as I know, nothing. So again, why wouldn't Arsenal not want to have the statue of these players? You know, coaching, you know, the, the youngsters, you know, so they know what it means to play for Arsenal. The next generation. Arsene Wenger, you've got a lot to answer for, really. If you can have Steve Bowl there, why not have all the other guys there? Ah, dear me. Anyway, so let's just see. Anyone in the chat? Well, you guys are just going to leave me hanging. And just doing my 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 little rants there, right? So no one has come into the chat, uh, no questions. So it gives me an opportunity just to say that. Um, uh, remember, on the twenty second of June, we're going to have a end of season meet up. We're going to try and get just some of the guys who or people who have appeared on Canon Forty TV, and there was a competition. So we're going to be going to the Emirates. We're going to be filming outside the Emirates, and then we're going to move on to a restaurant called the Highness. Now, if you want to win a meal for two at the Highness and meet the guys, maybe get one or two uh, autographs, and you won't be getting mine because it's not worth anything. <laughs> um, here's the competition. So can you name the Arsenal player who won the Golden Boot Award this season? Can you name the Arsenal player who won the Golden Boot Award this season? I will leave the link uh, for the, um, the competition in the comments box as well as the email address. So you need to make sure you send your answer and your name to our email address, which is uh, arsenalpublic1 at gmail.com or send your answers to the Twitter account, which is Canon for the TV, all in one word. Right, so I don't think anyone's coming to the chat, so I think I'm going to wrap up this, um, this segment of Arsenal News. Shamak and Seaman, one who, yeah, another one bites the bu the, the bust, the dust. <laughs> uh, he's a, he's, he announced his, uh, his retirement, and the other one felt a little bit hurt that he wasn't asked to come back and do some coaching. Bizarre, to say the least. Anyhow, this has been Arsenal News on Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over the world. And there's one more day to go to the final breaking news.